Hello good people from the YouTube land, here's Marcelo Durham once again. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, this uh, vintage modify Mustang that I bought used here near my house uh, where I live in London. A uh, guy was selling for 200 pounds and I just couldn't miss on that opportunity. It wasn't the right time to buy a new guitar but anyway it's so cheap so I went for it. I think a new one of these, the classic Vibe series is 350, so uh, you know, 150 pounds uh, cheaper. Uh, and what we're talking about today is the modifications that I did. I'm just going to go through a few things that I did. I made this bridge um, not floating anymore, like uh, I just uh, made it, you know, I lock it by removing the removing the springs inside and putting some bushes here to create some space and make it tight so it tight the screws here and it's locked someone changed the bridge here for a cheaper version that you can adjust up and down and forward so you can adjust the radius of the bridge and everything and the intonation although this is a good feature the quality of the metal on these are crap and makes the guitar sound not really amazing other thing that can improve the sound is the changing the plastic nut for a bone nut. Uh, I haven't done those things yet, maybe I'll do it in the future. Also I'm going to change the tuners. I got um, these uh, Goto tuners, kind of relic uh, for this, uh, for my Strat. And uh, the original ones from this Fender Strat I'm going to put in the Squire, so passing hands down uh, from one from the biggest sister to the younger sister kind of thing uh, but the big change in this guitar that will some people will hate me for doing this and some people will love the idea is that I put some fat 60s in the place of the original pickups one thing that I also did is I, I changed the potentiometers on these because these alpha pots that comes in it they don't sound really good and I did the same in my Jazz Master. I changed the pickups for Seymour Duncan Antiquities and it wasn't sounding really good. I was so disappointed. And then I changed the potentiometers and then whoop, the guitar starts sounding amazing as it was supposed to since the beginning. But these kind of blocked the good sound that you invest in pickups. They block kind of they're like a filter of bad sound. Uh, also, if you change these, like I did, I changed these before I changed the, the pickups, they make the original pickups sound a little bit better. Uh, another modification that I did, I put a 0 0.022 cap here on the tone uh, pot, and that made this guitar too bright. For the previous pickups, they were a bit dull, it was a good thing. For these pickups, it's not really the right cap, so I'm going to change eventually for the these uh, uh, 0.047 caps that I bought. Okay, but so I mean, let's hear the guitar as it is now. So I need to roll the tone a little bit out. If you see, I rolled the tone a little bit, just a minor detail. Just to make, you know, um, not so harsh. So I'm going to do a quick run through uh, the sounds of the guitar. So we are in the neck position now. So this is the, the little switch for the bridge pickup and the switch for the neck pickup. As most people know, the, if you have a Mustang, you know, in the middle they're off, on the sides they're on, and it can be in phase or out of phase when you put both of them on. So now it's just the neck pickup, and let's see the sound with the FET 60s. It obviously sounds a little bit more stratty, but to be honest, I think the old vintage um, Mustangs had basically a strat pickup, although the pole pieces were all flat, which is not the case now with the FET 60s. <laughs>
So now both pickups in phase, okay? It's not like a position two or position four in a strat, but it's more like a in the middle position in a tally. So now when they're open out or if they're op or if they're both in, you got the out of phase position. So you got this kind of quacky sound and you can do some, I don't know, even Red Hot Chili Peppers on a... But to be honest, I mean, I like the bridge position or the neck position. So the bridge position, you can get a really frusciante sound, like in a, if you have to ask. You can't even do your, you know, uh, can't stop. You see, it's as powerful as a Strat can be, you know, but it's tiny and you have the kind of short scale here, which it does sound different when you do band. I noticed like I recorded with a Strat and then when I went to do the same band, like doubling with this guitar, I just couldn't get it perfectly right. I think the relationship between, you know, the bending and the note that stays, well, if you're doing something like this, you know, it kind of, it's different. But, but you can make this uh, work as a strat would work for you in a gig or in a recording. You know? Anyway, since we're trying uh, with distortion, uh, let me show you the, well, you know, the looks, Kurt Cobain, let's show how this can work for that kind of sound. So if we put in out of phase, we get that quirky sound. <laughs> nice and then if we go back to the neck pickup with some fuzz you can do something more Hendrix or or the closest sound that Hendrix ever had I'm joking that's the revolt well anyway some frusciante stuff <laughs> Also, one more thing that is really cool about these uh, vintage modified ones that is different from the new classic vibes that you can buy now is that the, the neck has a rosewood fretboard, which is kind of a, a rare thing these days. And uh, it's so smooth and nice to play, so I'm really happy with that. It's also nine and a half inch radius, which is my favorite. It's actually even better than my Strat. I prefer nine and a half, and my strat is ten in traders, but it's okay. I mean, 
it's a, and it is a small difference in the field. But, uh, there's a lot of lacquer in this neck, uh, which I usually remove from my guitars. I send it out. But in this case, I'm just leaving it as it is. It's not bothering me that much. Uh, maybe I'll do it in the future, I don't know. Uh, but the good thing about this neck as well is that it's quite thick. It's like the regular vintage C-shaped neck. It's not uh, as slim as some Mexican strats, the you know player strats or whatever. It's more like a, a vintage uh, thickness for for the neck, which I prefer as well. Anyway, so that was the video about this uh, nice uh, Squire Mustang. That it's a guitar that I can take anywhere without being scared of something happening to it because it's so cheap and. Well, now it's getting a little bit more expensive with the with the, the uh, Fat 60s pickups because these are almost the price. Well, actually, these are more expensive than the guitar was, believe it or not. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to check, I did a comparison between the Fat 60s and the Fat 50s. And I also have some music on my own. Uh, you can check on Spotify, my Portuguese stuff. Or you can check on YouTube, my new song in English. And... That's all for now. Uh, hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and all that, etc. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.